Terus saya repotkan. Eh, enggak ada, biasa aja. <laughs> eh, tiba-tiba besar nih. Hmm. <laughs> kalau saya kalau hmm. Surabaya lagi holiday, Dr. Johani. Oh ya, hari ini hari apa? Uh, hari... Election, election. election. Oh, oh. I see. Oh, semua sudah sudah mengundi, sudah voting. <laughs> Ini sudah oh, sudah. Sudah. Oh, okay, mulai ya. Oh, sudah pilih yang bagus ya. Sudah, sudah pilih lagi. enggak tahu juga <laughs> bagusnya. <laughs> ya ya. Oh, okay. Soal ramai cuti lah nih. Ya. Hmm, okay. Semoga yang dipilih yang bagus. Ah, okay okay. Alhamdulillah. Sebentar ya. Hmm. Okay. Saya off dulu suaranya. Semua sudah nyoblos ya. Saya belum. Tadi pagi sepi soalnya Bu Cici, kalau siang takutnya rame. Oh, wis aku ora wis. Cici loro telu aku ya raro sing di sing api. <laughs> oh, anu ya, si Duarjo tiga ya? Satu, dua, tiga kan? Uh -uh. Oh, oke. Okay. Tiga paslon ya? Surabaya kan dua paslon ya? Uh -uh. This is the national election for the district. Wow. So every district yeah. has to elect his uh, or their choice of okay. leader. <laughs> bukan bukan perdana menteri ya, bukan bapaknya. Bukan uh, bupati or wali kota, mayor, mayor. Yeah. Oh bupati yeah. sebenarnya. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Bupati. Setiap Sini. negeri, setiap, setiap daerah, yes. setiap district, uh, setiap province district. and uh, ah, province. setiap City ya, city ya, province oh. and city, uh, city ya, is it? Oh, yeah. oke. Okay. Oh, mainnya pun di di diundi ya? Ya, betul. Mm -hmm. Oke. Okay. Yang lain, yang lain ya. Pak Saki. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, Pak Saki is my head of department, Dokter Juani. Oh ya, yeah. oke. Okay. Oh, halo, halo. Yes. <laughs> Selamat datang. Terima kasih, terima kasih. Ya, ya, ya. Kemarin jumpa ya Pak Pak Saki kita waktu ke UTM itu jumpa Dokter Juhani kah? Saya rasa enggak. Uh, tak. Enggak, ya. <laughs> Saya teringat Bu Nani aja. Orang <laughs> lain tak tahu, tak kenal. Hmm. Masa Aiko Wabas datang tak? Uh, 2017 ya? Uh, Aiko Wabas kita ke sana ya. Di Irak ya? Aiko Wabas. Uh, dua tahun lepas ya? Uh, Tiga yeah. tahun lepas ya? 2019, tahun lepas. Tahun lepas. Tahun hmm, lepas. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ke Malaysia, dekat uh, Johor. Johor. Ada beberapa yeah. aja ya. Hmm. Nanti yeah. next year di UNER ya? Iya, yeah, harusnya. Uh, Muka-muka. Yeah. InsyaAllah saya saya Aiko Wabas member juga. Jadi Kamis uh. depan insyaAllah akan hadirlah. InsyaAllah. Yeah. Hmm. Semoga COVID-nya sudah tidak ada lagi. Iya, yeah. oke. Okay. Sebentar ya telefon. Oke. Okay. Halo. Ini sudah nyoplo semua berarti. Sabar aja ya. Oh, ask me. Make host eh. <laughs> Oke, okay, okay. saya tak tahu buat mana ni. Saya share zoom dulu guys. Saya kak nyoplo Pak Saki. Oh iya, yeah. iya yeah, Bu. For me it's not obligation because I stay in uh, eh, sikit dia punya uh, ni. Kalau oh, okay. But my citizen is Surabaya okay. so okay. it's okay. <laughs> so so become okay. confusing. So better you elect uh, Burisma. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Harusnya Bu Cici itu jadi Bupati Sidoarjo. Aduh, there's no way. <laughs> Bu Cici itu kan tempenya Surabaya tahu sih. Iya, yeah, betul. Ya, aslinya Sidoarjo. Oh, tapi rumahnya Sidoarjo gitu ya maksudnya. Yeah. Mm -mm. Jadi Makanya saya suruh Risma jadi saja. Jadi enggak usah peduli. KTP <laughs> kan enggak wajib. It's not uh, compulsory to elect for me. Uh. Oh, boleh. Saya coba invite anak-anak ya. Ini ya. I just arrived from Jember last night. Memang ibu dah. Uh, that's uh, dua tahun ibu. Yang anu kan oh. dua tahun ibu. Oh iya lu lali bisa ke anak ibu ya oh iya. Selamatan ya Bu Cici. Ya enggak saya ya artinya gini tahlil terbatas terus sembako ay dibagi aman. Kadek selamatan. Iya. 
Bapak masih keluar kayaknya. Bagi sembako Bapak saja Ibu. lebih aman. Enggak repot juga kan kita. Jadi ya sudah. Enggak hujan Bu Cici di jalan. Ah uh, ya, hujan. Tetapi pas kebetulan hari apa ya, hari Minggunya itu tidak hujan. Tapi hari Senin kemarin uh, hujan sore hari lah. Ya, soalnya ke Jember tuh dalannya cilik masalah, kayak so banter. Itu loh, ya ampun. Antara Probolinggo ke Jembernya itu loh yang ya. mesti uh -uh. harus ya ada kesempatan uh, nyalip tetapi nggak banyak sih. Enggak banyak, masih masih enak ya. ke selatan, masih enak ke Iya. Ya. Makanya beberapa ini tuh aku sibuk banget. Aku suruh pengukuhan tanggal tulung puluh mana aku belum nyiap no popois. Tapi saya sudah siap menerima bateknya kok, Bu. Jangan khawatir. Ibunya enggak <laughs> siap tapi saya siap. Oke, er. Oke, er. Butuh butuh anu to, outsourcing, Pak. <laughs> nah, Iku minta diurus kartu departemen beres loh Bu Cici, tinggal transfer aja. Aku, aku minta diuruskan gawe artik anu aja orasinya aja. Oh, gampang <laughs> saya, saya contohkan sama yang sebelum sebelumnya. Kalau itu nggak berani yang itu, yang itu Kalau itu Satya Bu Cici. Satya itu terima itu asosing itu. Itu nggak berani saya bagian goodie bag mau Bu Cici. <laughs> Untungnya nggak pakai goodie bag sekarang. Tak seran orang FKG, wes panitia silakan, wes wong telu FKG. Ibu, ibu, lagi, lagi saya gabung tapi sambil setel jono toron ke si Bonsel dia, ngapun kan? Oh, yeah. Selamat, ibu, ibu. Matur nuwun. Bu Mira kalau ketemu toko batik, Bu Mira, Bu Cici titik. Oh, wes, wes wesannya tadi el. Oh, karek bagi berarti ya. Ini kok anu tulisannya kok ada putel fakultasnya, ya fakultasnya kok pedot toh kok. Nak tutupan gambar global itu yeah. kayaknya. Oh iya. Should be uh, arrange untuk apa namanya send back. Oh ya. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sebentar ya. Iya, dokter Juani. Oke, Tisi, John Worry. Oke, relax, relax. Iya, yeah, relax. Karena we are holiday, so it's not oh. in a hurry. Oke. Okay. Soalnya ini di reaktif. Oh, uh, tapi reaktif lebih baik swab, Bu Tati. Kemarin saya itu kan, ini satu yang mau dikukuhkan itu kan positif. Padahal saya sempat ketemu ya. Jadi saya kemarin hari Sabtu swab. Makanya ya rodo anu ya rodo apa namanya gamang juga. Untungnya kan Sabtu swab Minggu hasilnya keluar negatif. Oke, okay. kan berarti kan karena Pak Rektor bareng ya harus swab karena berinteraksi dengan ini uh, teman dari FKG itu yang positif itu. Enggak tahu nanti dirinya ditinggal atau di uh, di bareng. Super karena masih di HU sekarang. Buteret, ya. Oh, ya. Buteret. Oh. Mm -hmm. Indi, Indi karena yang KCU itu ada yang uh, meninggal yang di pemuda, mm -hmm. nah, kan dia kan uh, kacapem ya Indi itu, sehingga mm -hmm. kan mesti wirawiri juga toh ke ini. Yeah. Bismillah mudah-mudahan. Tapi memang dia itu semalam sebelumnya itu terlalu malam pulangnya kecapean memang dia karena ini loh bu ada bantuan yang untuk guru anu itu ya. itu loh mm -hmm. ya, itu jadi ininya sehingga sampai malam-malam itu apa bantuan guru bantuan masjid apa kayak gitu loh apa ya namanya itu kok ada bantuan oh, ada ramai yang tak boleh masuk sehingga belum oh. sebelum bisa diambil di ATM itu kan harus oh, tadi azab yang bagi tahu ah oke oke oh ada oh, right, right. 
Oke, okay, uh, Kemarin teman saya ya reaktif Bu Tati, tapi saya sudah sudah untuk anu reaktif itu belum tentu positif. Jadi swap aja. Setelah ya, swap ini. memang negatif. Ya Jadi, sebetulnya ada kabar tadi malam tapi baru buka pagi ini ini mau berangkat mah. Ya. Ada hari apa itu? Sempat ketemu tapi ya bentar kok aku ke rumahnya ngantar makanan itu. Iya, yeah. saya sempat cerita ke dokter Juani saya agak stres dua hari uh, Sabtu uh, Jum, uh, Friday until uh, Sunday. Iya. Yeah. Ibu benar bu cicinya. Iya. Yeah. <laughs> sempat lihat tak satu hari semalam. Iya. Yeah. <laughs> Holidaynya dari bila hari ini ya semalam? Kena, uh, dari semalam dari Jember. Hingga? Esok. Holiday, holiday hari ini saja. Hari ini holiday. Saja. Today saja? Iya. Yeah. Iya, oh, yeah, today saja. Hmm. So, besok kerja lagi ya? Iya. Yeah. <laughs> Never ending. But iya, yeah, working from home. So, it's okay. Uh, yeah, everybody working from home? Iya. Yeah. Uh, okay, good. Only good. occasionally, uh, usually once a week, we come hmm. to campus. Okay, yes. Student pun uh, tak tiada ya? Nak dibenarkan uh, pulang? Iya. Yeah, ke kampus? Part- Only for student who doing research. Research, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, sekarang ada dari itu participant ada masalah link uh, untuk login sekarang. Uh, di Uni sana uh, ada masalah untuk login? Semua oke? Okay? Rakan-rakan lain? Tidak ada oke? Okay? Uh, okay. uh, ada yang positif, ada juga, masih. Okay. But we lost our, our previous secretary of department last, last June, is it? Yeah. Okay. Nani, last June, is it? Pak Abdullah. Yeah, Pak Abdullah. Yeah. Uh, di, di, uh, beliau ke mana saja? Keluar ya? Uh, Yeah, because the uh, actually he was active in Moscow, and then mm. I think because in the village, so yeah. everyone interact. That group, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sini group. pun sama juga that that apa tablik ya. Yeah. I don't know what that group. Yeah, mm. they went somewhere. Mm. Okay. Um. Okay. So uh, we have about twenty five uh, attendees right now, including us. Yeah. All. All right. So I think we begin. And hopefully, all um, we have uh, say promote the uh, the session for our student, especially who's doing natural product and organic synthesis. So we have a few that's uh, still at home and cannot do anything. Mm-hmm. So uh, we hope that they um hear and uh, to listen uh, to your talk and gain more knowledge. Okay. So I begin. Uh, Assalamualaikum and good morning. Waalaikum salam, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, let me see is recorded or not um is it recorded kat norma uh, okay is it recorded kat norma yes i think it's recorded all right so okay so we have our um online global classroom uh, invited uh, online global classroom from onir Uh, which is Professor Prof. Uh, Professor Cici. Okay, I I don't dare to say the other names because I think it's going to be wrong. So Bu Cici saja. All right. So uh, I would like to brief of um, her education life. All right. So Bu Cici uh, completed her PhD at University of Western of Australia uh, in the field of organic chemistry. Uh, she's been in uh, University of Alanga since 1988. So she have a few poses, uh, posting and been teaching organic chemistry uh, to the students, uh, undergraduates and master level. 
So um, she is now involved in the Higher Education Institute. Uh, there's a big job there. And then, uh, however, her research is also uh, still um, very active. Uh, and her, her main topic focuses on ind indigenous plants from Kalimantan as a drug candidate. So today, uh, we have um, a talk on this um, topic. Uh, um, uh, the abstract is online, actually, so I don't have to uh, share it with you here. Uh, so I'll give the floor to Bhutjit for her presentation. Yes, yeah. can, uh, how, how do I do this? Sharing? I stop sharing. You, share, yeah? stop share. I... you should okay. stop sharing. Okay. Thank you. Good morning and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thanks to the committee of the online uh, global classroom in uh, University of Technology Malaysia who gave me an opportunity to share my uh, research information and Especially, I would like to thank to uh, Dr. Juani, who always uh, assists me and have organized all of the talk for the talk today. I'm sorry if uh, it's really difficult to arrange me because lately I have a lot of uh, program that I have to uh, <coughs> finish and then uh, <coughs> because of the deadline. Today, I would like to share, uh, sorry, I would like to share my, Okay, I would like to share uh, this, uh, my uh, research group uh, <clears throat> regarding with this uh, bio prospect of indigenous plants from the Kalimantan as a source of drug candidate discovery. Actually, uh, this uh, group is uh, one of the research group in, we have several research group in uh, Department of Chemistry. Uh, one of them is the natural product uh, research group. So we are working with uh, several, uh, with Pak uh, Mulya di Tanjung and uh, several students from the undergraduate until the uh, doctoral <coughs> program. And uh, my area of research is uh, actually the indigenous plant from, uh, especially from Kalimantan, which is the Calopilum, Melicope, Flemingia, Kratoxylum, and Makaranga. We find that uh, Kalimantan is very uh, unique uh, island, and then it's like a cafeteria of the uh, indigenous plants in Indonesia. Because once I went there uh, on 19, uh, 2017, I saw that uh, actually a lot of the <clears throat> a lot of the plants which belong to the uh, indigenous Indonesia is more more most of them are there. So especially when we find uh, several uh, specific species in one area or the other area, we got almost all of them in uh, Kalimantan. So this is the, uh, our collection of indigenous plants from Kalimantan. Actually, we have uh, collect the calopilum. Uh, we, we are working in the calopilum since 2013. And then now we have working for like uh, almost 11, yes, 11 uh, species of calopilums. And we have still uh, several <clears throat> collection of the calopilum from Kalimantan, which is, uh, this is in the, <clears throat> this is uh, our focus of the next project in uh, 2021 up to 2030. 
And then uh, the thing that from the color film that we have uh, done, and then we have explored, most the major <coughs> compound is santon and uh, chromanon uh, uh, acid. Sorry, it says this is the chromanon acid. Chromanon acid is really a <coughs> chemical marker from calopilum that is not uh, found in other species or in other genus of the uh, plant or of the <coughs> rutaceae. This is belong to rutaceae. So that's why we are focused usually for the chromanon acid because it is very specific and then the structure is very uh, various and then uh, the activity is also uh, prospect, promising. And uh, <clears throat> beside the uh, color, Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, beside the uh, calopilum, we all also have the collection of flamingia. This is the new uh, species or the new genus that we found since uh, 2019. So we found it last year because this flam uh, flamingia actually is really uh, not the indigenous uh, plant from uh, Kalimantan or even from Indonesia. This is the first time we find that Flamingia macrophylla is uh, exists in Kalimantan. But uh, this uh, macrophylla actually originally from the India. That's why uh, we haven't got any uh, data in uh, Bogor uh, Herbarium Bogoriensis about this plant. And when I saw and I sent this species, uh, this uh, specimen to the uh, Herbarium bocoriensis, they said this is this is surprising because uh, actually it should not be in Indonesia, but we find this one. Even the botanist from the uh, Lipi Bogor or Herbarium bocoriensis could uh, flew to the Kalimantan to make sure that. Uh, actually to prove that there is a Flamingia macrophylla in Kalimantan. And actually, yes, this, uh, he, is very, he was very surprised about uh, finding this uh, species of uh, Flamingia. So in Indonesia, actually there are only four species of uh, Flamingia, but uh, then it's uh, one more addition. It's this, the new one, this Flamingia of macrophylla. So there are five uh, species of macrophylla in, in uh, sorry, five species of flamingia in Indonesia, and we already collect three of them. So the two of them we are still looking, we are still looking for because we couldn't find in even Java or Kalimantan. And then the other uh, genus that we are working with is uh, Melicope. Several species of Melicope has been uh, <coughs> researched uh, during uh, the last uh, four years. And then uh, we have working with uh, six species of Melicope. Sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry. Six uh, species of Melicope, and we have still three other species of Melicope that have been uh, conducted for the uh, research. And then the, the unique compound of this Melicope is a hybrid compound. This is the one that uh, our uh, doctoral students uh, did this uh, research we find uh, several uh, new compounds of hybrid uh, compounds. And we also study the pathway of the formation of these hybrid compounds. So the next three uh, species is coming soon. So we are waiting for the students to do this uh, <coughs> research for this uh, species. And uh, the other genus that we have uh, concern about is the Kratoxylum. So in Indonesia, there are uh, six Kratoxylum and we got all of them. So uh, this is very uh, interesting. 
but uh, so far we done only one species. We have researched only one species of the Kratoxylum, but the other another five species is waiting. So this is uh, is uh, very. We are very anxious to do this uh, to know about the phytochemical uh, marker of this uh, species. And uh, the one that actually this is the major plants in Kalimantan, it's uh, Makaranga. Along, uh, actually Makaranga is spread out of uh, Indonesia, especially for the Eastern part of Indonesia. But we found the most uh, species Makaranga, the huge the uh, species Makaranga is in Kalimantan. So we have uh, actually uh, working with um, almost 10, more than 10, actually here now is more than 10 species of Kalimantan. And we still have the collection of another nine species of Makaranga. So uh, actually, Dr. Juhani, if you want uh, one of your students or our colleagues in uh, UTM want to working uh, together or join uh, research with this uh, plan, actually we are welcome to do that one because uh, we have a lot of stock for these uh, indigenous uh, plants from Kalimantan. Uh, the uh, calopinum that we have working with is uh, <clears throat> several that we have working. Actually, most of the compound in calopilum, we found several compounds, which is flavonoid, romanon acid, terpenoid, uh, fulvenyl cumarin, benzofuranon, uh, piranosanton, and santon itself. And then for the time being, we usually we have uh, working with the uh, bioactivity only for the three group of uh, bioactivity, which is anti-cancer, anti-HIV, and anti-malaria. And for columbulum, the specific thing is they have the very active in anti-cancer and anti-malaria. For santon, uh, based on our database, most of santon in columbulum has a bio, good bioactivity for anti-cancer. While the chromanon acid, usually very specific uh, in uh, active and very active in anti-malaria. So this is based on our database uh, of, of the compound that we have uh, obtained during this uh, five or seven years. Uh, this is the uh, profile of the santon in calopilum. See the specific thing for this uh, santon from calopilum is they have this uh, terpenyl group here. So most of this, uh, most of the santon from the calopilum always have the uh, isoprenyl or terpenyl group, whether this is isoprenyl, geranyl, or <clears throat> uh, the modification of the terpenyl group. And based on the bioactivity of this uh, santon, actually, uh, they have like here, very active, for the anti-cancer. So this is uh, the anan ananisanton is active for the anti-cancer for the uh, leukemia cell cancer, which is P388 uh, cell. So that's why I said that this, uh, the characteristic of santon in calopilum is uh, more active to the anti-cancer compared to the uh, other bioactivity such as anti-malaria or anti-HIV. Probably this is the characteristic of the uh, santon uh, of calipulum in Indonesia. Because uh, when I search for the literature, actually there are several uh, santon from the calopilum uh, elsewhere, which is active in HIV as well. But uh, for the compound that we have obtained from the calopilum from Indonesia, usually it's more active to anti-cancer compared to the other bioactivity. <clears throat> this is another uh, 
calopilum, uh, sorry, santan from calopilum, which has the specific uh, side chains. This is the modification, cyclization of this uh, terpenyl group. So usually we have only isoprenyl, but this is the, we have farnesyl and then he got the cyclization. And this, uh, more, most of the santon which have this uh, modified terpenyl, long chains modified, actually modified of long chains terpenyl group, it has a very active to anti-cancer. Compared to the one which has only this uh, isoprenyl. See, this is uh, only the uh, farnesyl who got the cyclization and then uh, with the uh, hydroxy group, but it's not active to anti-cancer. But for this one, see, this is very active to the uh, anti-cancer, especially for the HeLa cell. And uh, <clears throat> based on the data that we got uh, from these, uh, compounds that we obtain from several calopilums. And then uh, we study what uh, the pathway of the formation of the <coughs> santon that we got. So actually, as we know that uh, the bio biosynthesis of santon is from the sikimat and malonate acetate pathway. But uh, when we got this uh, mangustin, actually this is the what you call it, uh, the standard or the chemical or the compound santon that we got uh, the major from the calopilum. But the mangosteen has uh, further uh, synthes uh, biosynthesis from this uh, here. It got the, <coughs> as I uh, told you before, they have the chemical modification with the hydroxy group and the double bond on the C2 isoprenyl group to form uh, these side chains as well. And it's also, uh, actually they have uh, the modification here or uh, that one actually, sorry, in this one, this is the modification of hydroxy group with the double bond of the C number three of isoprenyl group. So actually this uh, compound that we obtain from uh, the calopilum is uh, the further uh, biosynthesis of the uh, mangustin that we got. This is the major compound. And then for the minor compound, we got this uh, uh, calotetrapterin B and then Garcini furan. And this is very active to the uh, anti-cancer, especially for the HeLa cell. And uh, beside this uh, santon, we also find the phenyl, uh, four phenyl cumarin in calopilum. Actually, we can obtain isolated uh, this four phenyl cumarin from the calopilum bioscori. And uh, this is very, uh, the structure is uh, quite complicated for this, uh, the one that we got. This is the apetatolija and then uh, methyl inophilum. So, however, actually, uh, this uh, phenylcumarin is not so active to the uh, anti-cancer. It has the moderate activity here to the anti-cancer, and then this, this one is not active to uh, anti-cancer. <clears throat> and uh, actually, uh, the structure that we find from this uh, Phenyl, four phenyl cumarin, uh, four phenyl cumarin from the uh, calopilum dioscori is uh, generated from the phenyl cumarin here. This uh, the biosynthesis is from the fluoroglucinol and the transcinamic acid. So from the four phenyl cumarin, it's going further for, to form this mamea a. Uh, ABB and then the methyl inoculum P as well as brasimarin P. So the modification structure is from the four phenyl cumarin. Usually they have this uh, side chains modification through the uh, 
cyclization or reaction between the hydroxy group to the double bond of the isoprenyl. Whether the double bond from the C number two C or C number three. Usually it's uh, to the C number two or C number three. But this is the, uh, actually uh, the modification is through this uh, substitution electrophilic or electrophilic substitution, which is hydroxy or methoxic group of phenylcumarin is substituted with the isopentenyl or isoprenyl. So the variation of the uh, compound is very interesting to be studied. And uh, because uh, actually we think that uh, the climate or the uh, geographical uh, area is very uh, <clears throat> determined. Uh, actually this uh, the affect the structure or determine the structure of the minor uh, metabolite, uh, secondary metabolite from this uh, calopilum. And the interesting, this is the unique or chemical marker of the calopilum, which is we cannot find in other uh, genus of uh, other plant in Kalimantan. So chromanone acid is only found in calopilum, not in other genus or in other plant. So this is very interesting for the uh, calopilum, uh, sorry, chromanone acid of the calopilum because we have, this is the uh, structure of the chromanone, actually the basic structure of the chromanone, but the area of the, the side chain is very uh, variation. Actually, there's uh, a lot of variation of the side chains. And the thing that uh, we are working, we got several, this is a very irregular uh, <clears throat> side chains. And this is a very, actually, once we got uh, this uh, compound, the force is we are very confused because it's too complicated. But once we are working, because uh, once we got, uh, at once, we got uh, about three, three new compounds in at once. And we are wondering what is this because it's uh, never be found in uh, we can't find in 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 any, in other in any journal. So we try to uh, determine the structure one by one, step by step. We find that uh, this is very regular uh, side chains of the terpenoid uh, group. And uh, this is the, uh, actually this one is uh, from, this is the one that we have found in several uh, journal for this, uh, sorry, for the chain of the, uh, the chromanone uh, acid. The interesting thing is, uh, this is we got from the Calopilum P. florum. And we haven't uh, published yet because we just finished this uh, identification of the structure and then measure the activity of anti-cancer. And this is very active. Actually, when we saw this one, this is very active to this uh, leukemia cell. So this is a, pro a very prospect for this uh, drug uh, discovery for anti-cancer. But this one is uh, quite interesting. Even it says this is more active, but this is still uh, very promising for this uh, for anti-cancer. And this is another uh, chromanone acid, and we have uh, analyzed for this uh, T forty seven T cell for anti-cancer, and this is from the Calopilum flavo. Flavoramolum and then Calopilum sclerophyllum. This one is we just got. Uh, this is a new compound and we haven't uh, published yet. Even though, however, this uh, chromanone acid is not active to the anti-cancer, but usually, based on the several data that we have, the chromanone acid is usually very active to anti-malaria instead of anti-cancer. 
I refer for the modification of this uh, side chains, actually, this is very promising for the anti-cancer as well. Usually, uh, for the chromanone acid that we have, uh, we can we obtain previously is not active to anti-cancer, but this one, this is very active to anti-cancer. And the, uh, the role that play uh, for the, the structure, actually, that play important role for the anti-cancer is the side chains of this irregular one. This is another uh, new compound that we got from the calopilum. And as I told uh, before, this is very active to the anti-malaria. So most of them are very active to anti-malaria. And then most of the uh, Romanon acid that we obtain from the calopilum from Kalimantan, it has the irregular chains that we can uh, find it uh, from this uh, previous, uh, <coughs> previous uh, journal or previous research uh, that have been done uh, from the other uh, country. See this, uh, actually the uh, chromanon, uh, the specific of the chromanon acid, it has this uh, structure for, sorry, sterochemia of this one. This sterochemia is play, uh, play for the in, important role to, for the activity of the uh, compound. So we have, uh, we can obtain a, uh, three different uh, stereochemistry of this uh, chromanone acid, which is this uh, 2A, 3A, 2A, 3B, 2A, and 3A. So this is uh, the one that play the important role for the activity of the compound. And usually the structure for this, uh, uh, the configuration of this, uh, Chromon, chromon uh, cyclic, yeah, chromon ring is uh, when he, we have the 2A, 3A actually for the axial and axial. Uh, and then this is a uh, more active compared to the uh, two equatorial and uh, three axial. This is a uh, more active compared to this other uh, configuration or stereochemistry. So based on the biosynthesis of the chromanon uh, acid, we find that uh, the chromanon, uh, this is uh, the chromanon uh, skeleton. This is two, three dimethyl, uh, dimethyl chromanon. And then based on this uh, basic skeleton, and then it will be modified through several uh, process or several reactions such as isoprenoid to this uh, C and then it will uh, further uh, it will react modified further to the uh, other reactor such as the cyclization or this is the substitution as well. Beside this uh, Santon and then uh, Chromanon acid, we also find benzofuran in calopilum. The benzofuran that we found is uh, Erlangin A and Erlangin B. Uh, and it has a moderate activity for the uh, anti cancer for leukemia cell. This is for the Erlangin A. This is the new compound that we first found. Actually, that's why we name it as Erlanga from Universitas Erlanga. So we name it as Erlangin A and Erlangin B because this is dedicated to the Universitas Erlanga. Uh, this uh, benzofuran we got from the Calopilum solatri. And then this is only the two uh, benzofuran that we obtain from the Calopilum. Uh, and for the melicope, we actually have a search for 
do the research for the several melicope and then we have find uh, the correlation or uh, biosynthesis pathway of the all of the uh, compounds in uh, melicope. So we have uh, conducted a research for this. Sorry. Okay. Melicope dianhami and melicope glabra. Uh, sorry, I can't find. Yeah. So we find uh, there are there are cumarins and cinnamic acid from the melicope. We have several uh, cumarin that we can uh, isolate it from the melicope dianhami and then melicope glabra. And uh, we have the cinnamic acid as well. And we have uh, observes of the, all of the bioactivity for anti-cancer, which is, this is, uh, we use the three cell of the cancer. This is le leukemia cell and then HeLa cell. And then uh, this is the mummy cell. And uh, from, uh, so we found that most of this compound has uh, inactive to the anti-cancer. Or at least this is the uh, only several is uh, moderate or have the activity for anti-cancer, but mostly are inactive to anti-cancer. See, like we find alkaloid and then uh, acyl fluoroglucinol as well. And we know that if this is the single compound of the melicope, it's all, it doesn't have any uh, activity or it's inactive to the anti-cancer. However, when we have this hybrid of this compound, it's surprisingly, it's becoming very active to anti-cancer. See, this one is very active and especially they are active to the uh, HeLa cell. This is the uh, hybrid compound that we uh, obtain from the Melicope denhami and Melicope quercifolia. Uh, some of them is uh, in progress for the uh, publication. However, several of them is not published yet. So as we know, this is very interesting. This is the couple or, uh, for the two uh, monomer of this uh, <clears throat> two monomer or two single compound of this uh, melicope. This is from the melicope denhami and melicope quercifolia. We have melicodenin G. Melicuercifolin uh, A because from the melicu uh, from the melicope quercifolia, and then this is melicuercifolin uh, B and melicodenin F. So uh, the formation of the hybrid is uh, from these uh, two uh, cyclization uh, two type of cyclization, which is uh, cyclization two plus two and the four plus two cyclization or a dux uh, uh, deals alder cyclization. So this is another uh, compound or hybrid compound that we obtain from the uh, melicope denhami and melicope quercifolia, which is from, from the uh, four plus two uh, or a dux deals alder reaction. So it's uh, formed the a new uh, six membrane here and here. And then uh, for the previous, for the hybrid two plus two, it's formed a new four membrane. Actually this uh, hybrid four plus two is uh, less active compared to the hybrid four, uh, two plus two since we know that uh, the six, uh, 
six member ring is more stable, uh, more stable compared to four uh, member ring. That's why this uh, hybrid four plus two is uh, less active compared to the hybrid uh, that form from the two plus two uh, two plus two cyclization because uh, as we know that uh, this ring is uh, the very rigid or straight that's why it's more inactive uh, more active sorry compared to the uh, less step uh, this is the less stable or more unstable compared to the uh, six member ring that's why it's this is uh, becoming more active to the anti cancer compared to the six uh, member ring So we uh, find actually uh, from the single compound that we sex uh, with that we can be isolated uh, that can be isolated from the melicope denhami and melicope quercifolia, and then we try to uh, trace the pathway of uh, formation for the uh, hybrid compound. So uh, actually, this compound is the marker compound of the melicope. And when it got the methylation and when, uh, and this is uh, and methyl flandersin, this is the and flandersin, and this is become met, uh, if it uh, go the for the methylation, it become the n methyl flandersin once. They have uh, they form the cyclization or they react uh, through the for uh, adductus ardor or four plus two cyclization. It form this uh, hybrid, and when it react with another single compound from this uh, melicope, so through this uh, two plus two uh, formation, two plus two. So it formed this uh, two plus two hybrid. So the actually most of them are started from the N flindersin. And then it modified further through the uh, several reaction with this, which is the substitution or accumulation, as well as the cyclization through the uh, a drug still order or the uh, cyclization of two plus two. And that's the unique, uh, actually the unique uh, compounds that we got from the uh, melicope. And we are study still studying further for the hybrid uh, compounds from the melicope. And the other uh, genus that we found in Kalimantan is uh, Flemingia, which is from the Flemingia, we can obtain the chalcon. Here, chalcon from uh, Flemingia. And uh, one of the chalcon has the very uh, prospect for the drug uh, from the anti cancer activity for the T47D cell, which is the 3 hydroxy Flemingin A. Of framing in A. We've uh, obtained all of this uh, chalcon from the Flemingia macrophylla. This is the first, uh, actually, a re, uh, Flem chalcon that we studied uh, from the Flemingia from Indonesia because uh, the Flemingia macrophylla has been observed in uh, India. But this is the first, uh, this is uh, my research group is the first time we studied this uh, Flemingia macrophylla because uh, this Flemingia macrophylla is only found in uh, Kalimantan, not in other area of Indonesia. And uh, the four of them are new compounds and we are still working for, uh, for, the pub, uh, for publishing these uh, compounds, but still a lot of things that we have to arrange for the publication. 
So this uh, chalcon actually uh, the biosynthesis is from the combination of sikimat and astat malonat pathway, and uh, from the starting, I, I mean uh, for the basic or simple chalcon is this is the Fleming in R, and this is the basic chalcon with that we obtain from this uh, Flemingia macrophylla. And then it's isoprenated further use, uh, for, uh, through the substitution reaction. And then uh, with to form this isoprenylated isoprenyl uh, chalcon. And then uh, this isoprenylated chalcon react with, uh, sorry, with this hydroxy to form this uh, furan group. And then this is uh, the cyclization through the C3 instead of C2 to form this uh, <clears throat> Pirano group or Pirano, uh, yes, Pirano group, Pirano cyclis. Beside the chalcon, we also find uh, the flavonoid in Flemingia. Because we just working uh, with Fleminia since uh, last year. That's why most uh, uh, all of the uh, compound that we can obtain from the Fle Fleminia is very interesting. We got several new compounds and we haven't published uh, all of them. So uh, this one is very interesting as well. This is the isoprenylated uh, flavonoid which is modified for the uh, isoprenyl group. And this one is also the cyclization of the isoprenyl uh, with the hydroxy uh, group from this uh, benzene ring. However, this one, we haven't uh, determined the configuration yet because we need a further uh, instrument to uh, determine the configuration of the methyl for this uh, Fleming in uh, R. And uh, unfortunately, this uh, flavonoid is, uh, is not so active to anti-cancer, but it has the moderate activity. But even this uh, Fleming in R is inactive to the anti-cancer. However, the three of them are uh, new Come on. So this is the one that uh, I told that uh, this is uh, through the uh, substitution using the uh, for the to get the prenylated uh, flavonoid and then a flavon this one as well and then this is uh, the cyclization from this uh, flavonon to find the uh, furano flavon. And this is the last uh, genus that newly we just uh, find uh, this uh, species actually this year. So now we can collect uh, like six uh, species for, from uh, Kratoxylum from uh, Kalimantan this year. That's why we haven't working a lot with uh, this Kratoxylum. But we just work with one of Kratoxylum and we find or we obtain the santon uh, from this uh, Kratoxylum arborescens. And it's inactive to this uh, anti cancer. This is the santon from the uh, Kratoxylum arborescens. And another sex uh, Kratoxylum that we find uh, just in a few months ago. It's still, uh, we just collect it first and we are working on it uh, start from next year. And uh, this is the major uh, plants that we find in Kalimantan, which is uh, Makaranga. Most of the, the major compound in Makaranga is still pinoid and flavonoid. And we find uh, quite various of uh, still pinoid in uh, Makaranga, and we have observed 
uh, most of them you, uh, for the anti-cancer activity with you, using the several cells. And uh, actually for the makaranga, most of them are in active to the anti-cancer. And now we, are, we want to try to do the another uh, bioactivity analysis for anti-malaria instead of the anti-cancer. Okay. And uh, this is the maca, uh, macanermicin E. Uh, it's a flavonoid of the uh, macaranga. And the flavonoid of macaranga, actually, we find several of them are very active to the anti-cancer. This is the new compound that we have uh, working this year. And we have an, uh, to the publication for this uh, new compound. Uh, because we just uh, finished the uh, analyze this uh, anti-cancer activity. Actually, several of them are promising for this uh, anti-cancer. This is uh, actually, so I have, that's uh, actually the several uh, work uh, research that we uh, working in the, our uh, research group, the natural product group. And we try to map or to have the mapping uh, for all of the compound from this uh, active compound, actually from the uh, indigenous plant in Kalimantan. So it's very promising. And then we, we are looking forward to join uh, collaboration with the uh, other institution uh, to be uh, working in our group. Thank you, Dr. Juani. Uh, and I give it back the time uh, to you. Sorry, you are still uh, in okay. mute. Okay. okay, all right. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, thank you, uh, Prochichi, for the very interesting talk. Uh, I've seen that you have collected a lot of samples um, from all over Kalimantan. And I was just thinking, how did you do it? Did you go to the <laughs> forest alone yes. together with students? Yes, exactly. We, yeah. uh, I went to the forest for several times. Wow. And even I asked Bunani and Bu Alvinda to go with us uh, like uh, two years ago, but uh, they are still busy. Okay. And we find this, uh, actually, uh, the university, actually, the university is not related to this uh, natural product. Mm. But uh, we we have that one of the lecturer in that university for the uh, economic uh, actually that's the eco uh, economic uh, sekolah tinggi ekonomi mm. means that the uh, this is the sekolah tinggi what do you call in sekolah tinggi in school? like institute is it institute, not university but like institute mm. yes because they have only several study programs in that okay. And then uh, one of the lecture is actually come from this uh, remote area in that Kalimantan, and they are very he is very familiar with the forest in Kalimantan. So we are working with him up okay. to now, and uh, like now we have like a area of forest that's like I told you is like a cafeteria of the plants. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Of, yeah, a lot of menu of the plant are there. Mm. So uh, basically, which part of the plant do you take to mon to, to isolate all of this compound? From uh, this the is deep? from the uh, Muara Tewe, actually in the central of Kalimantan. Oh, okay, which part of the tree actually? Is it a tree or a oh, uh, we working uh, throughout, we, we are working on the, uh, from Makaranga, we always working from the leaves. Okay. And then, but for other uh, big, plants like calopilum, we are working on uh, like the stem bark of the uh, calopilum okay. as well as this uh, cambium, actually the wood of the calopilum mm -hmm. and the root of the calopilum. So all uh, part of the uh, plant we are working. Oh, okay, so it is not a big plant that you have to climb up the tree. 
uh, yes, this is very yes. calopilum oh. is and uh, like melicope is very big tree and tall. Okay. So we ask uh, of the one of the like uh, the guide. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, to to go through to climb go for to you, the yeah? forest to find that uh, that one. Actually, oh, okay. I, I went several twice to the forest, but not until in the middle of the forest. So mm. on the side of the forest. Okay, all right. That's very good. That's very interesting experience. Actually, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So um, I'm not very familiar with the uh, chemistry of the bio essay and everything. So I open the floor to my colleagues and to Unai's colleague, everybody who have other questions. They can, uh, you can ask Prof. Cici. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum, Prof. Uh, I'm Noraza from UTM. Okay, uh, looking at all the compounds that you managed to isolate from the plant, it's very amazing. Lots of new compounds. Okay, so for my first question, how do you select a plant that you want to study. How do you do? How do you do the plant selection? Is it based on the uh, traditional users or based from the uh, local uh, local people who are using the plant as a traditional medicine? That is my first question. Um, and the second question um, regarding the publication in the area of natural products, it's very difficult when you cannot get a new compound. So yeah. to get a new compound is like a blast. You don't know what are there in the plant. Yeah, When we do the isolation and there is a very tedious process, and then sometimes yet you get the same compound or the, uh, the known compound, to get a new compound like uh, the work that you do is very amazing, you know? Yeah. Um, so um, uh, back, to the, back to the new compounds. Um, is is there is any any recipe or any anything that you do to make sure that uh, the compound that you isolate uh, turn up uh, you get a new compound? Yeah. Okay, that is my my second question, yeah. and my third question is regarding the biological activity. Uh, so normally, when we do the isolation, the amount of the compounds yeah. that you get is very small. Yes. And it's only it's only enough to do the in vitro um, yes, right. experiment, not uh, go towards the in vivo experiment. Yes. So, um, what is your opinion on this one? Okay, thank you, Prof. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Nuraza. Actually, uh, what we select this uh, plan is based on the local wisdom because we know that several of the uh, local citizen use this uh, compound, uh, sorry, this tree for this uh, medicine. But sometimes we also uh, actually search for this uh, journal, the previous journal had, that has been published for the specific uh, compound that such as like, uh, okay, chromanon acid is uh, very rare to find. And then uh, this is um, make very interesting for us to study. That's uh, the way, I mean, the start how we interest to uh, study further of this uh, plan. So we, we use the two approach of that uh, to select the, the plan or the genus as well as the species that we are working uh, with. And then the second is it, that's true for natural product if we did uh, we didn't find and I mean if we didn't get a new compound it's really difficult to have a publication. Actually uh, the strategy that we use that uh, for the isolation actually we always try to find the minor the minor uh, compound com compared to the actually the major compound. We never isolate the major compound so far because we know for the major compounds, actually a lot of people can do it. So that's why we always try to find, to look for the minor compounds uh, of, this, uh, of this plan. So this is the very tricky actually. I, I know what you mean, but actually for us, this is very tricky. That's why we need quite a lot of sample. 
for this one. Fortunately, we have the uh, we have the collaboration with the uh, local uh, lecture or local staff in the, uh, Kalimantan. That's why we can find like uh, quite uh, a lot amount of uh, sample. Usually, when we are working with the uh, natural product or simplicia, we are working only for like two to five kilos. Is it? Yeah, but two to three kilos of the uh, simplicia. But for us now, we are we always working in between about uh, seven kilos to ten kilos of sample. That's why we can find the minor uh, compound from the uh, from the plant. But if you are working with only like three kilos or four kilos of sample, we couldn't find enough. Uh, sample or enough, uh, comp uh, I mean, yeah, enough uh, amount of the, uh, of the uh, minor compounds. And actually, uh, for the first time when, when we are working in this uh, technique, actually, we, we searching for several technique for isolation. So we can find, uh, uh, we can obtain the minor compound. For the time being, we usually we didn't use the modern instrumentation. We just working using this uh, ordinary method, such as like chromatography or the radial chromatography, actually. But we use the several. Uh, uh, actually, uh, for the several absorbent that we use, not only the uh, silica, but we, we are a lot of uh, working with, uh, we are working a lot with this uh, polyamide as well as uh, the sepadex. So this is uh, help us very, uh, very a lot to separate, uh, to get this uh, pure compound in minor compound and in amount of enough, not only, but not much, but it's enough for this uh, bioactivity uh, analysis. Mm -hmm. This is the thing that uh, we use uh, for, we are working for the last uh, like five years. That's why we can find uh, like, uh, we can get, uh, a lot of new compounds. But for the biological activity, that's true. Actually, we are, uh, for the natural product, usually we get only several milligrams of the uh, pure compounds, that which is enough for only in vitro, uh, in vitro uh, analysis. In my opinion, we can't work uh, through for the further analysis, I think we cannot work with this uh, pure compounds. I have uh, discussed with the a colleague from the pharmacy. So it's better to work once we know that uh, one of the compound from this plant has a very uh, active, actually has a active, very active in certain uh, biological activity like for anti-malaria or anti-cancer. So it's better to work from the extract or from the whole uh, extract of the compound. So uh, we can work uh, further for the in vitro and actually for the, uh, the end of the product is not as this uh, like a pure drug or synthesis drug, but it's more as like the uh, herbal uh, medicine, standard herbal medicine. That's actually the end of this uh, research. Actually, for this is my uh, goal on the next uh, few years. Okay, thank you. All right, Tata, are the questions answered so far? Okay, right? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, okay thank great. you. Okay, so so far, uh, Professor Chi, what instrument did you use to analyze everything? The basic is NMR, right? Yes, yes. The basic yes. is NMR. What uh, else? We, yeah, NMR and then uh, UV spectroscopy and then the mass spec spectrometer. 
Oh, that's the three main. Uh, yeah, 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 that's yeah? the three main. Mm. Okay. That's why mm. actually uh, the one that I uh, uh, saw just now is mm. uh, we haven't find. I think we can't figure out the configuration or stereochemistry of the one of the compound yet. That's yes. why we are looking for the collaboration or joint collaboration with the institution that have the ACD because we need uh, that instrument to uh, determine this uh, absolute configuration, whether this is R or S, mm -hmm. and we couldn't find it yet. I see, okay. So uh, where did you do the uh, biological uh, activities uh, testing? Okay. I heard you have a hospital there. Oh, yes, we have the uh, Un Universitas Erlanga Hospital. Mm. So we do this uh, HIV analysis and anti-malaria analysis in the Institute of Tropical Disease, Universitas Erlanga. Uh, but for the anti-cancer, uh, we have collaboration with the Universitas uh, Gajah Mada, Faculty of Medicine, because they have uh, several cells of cancer. I see. Okay. All right, thank you for that. Um, uh, open to participant again. Questions? Okay, Assalamualaikum, Prof. Waalaikum salam. I am uh, Shajarah Tunur from uh, Chemistry Department, UTM. Okay, uh, I have one question. Okay, um, from your presentation, okay, there are lots of uh, very complex uh, pure yes. compounds. Okay. So yeah. what are the challenges that you face to determine the uh, correct structure for those um, very complex structure, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. including with uh, stereochemistry and also all the, uh, to, to, to determine the positions of the substituent group, okay? So yeah. I think it is very uh, difficult and then uh, it, it starts from the uh, the compounds maybe does not dissolve in certain solvents. Okay, mm -hmm, so yeah. how, how did you manage that? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, this is the the one difficult thing that <laughs> we face. Actually, uh, that's true, Doctor Sajarah to Nur. Actually, but uh, fortunately, we have this uh, NMR in the uh, ITT, Institute of Tropical Disease UNER. So actually the, the complex uh, compound, uh, the complex structure compound that we obtain, uh, usually first, we have the several uh, experience in determine the uh, more simple compounds uh, from this complex compound like the prenylated or isoprenylated uh, santon some, uh, like that, or geranylated uh, santon as well as farnesyl. We, so there are a lot of these uh, side chains uh, that we have experience on that. So for this complex compound, usually we have like, uh, we mostly count on the NMR. So we do the uh, APT or DEP as well as NU as noise, uh, noisy uh, analysis from the NMR. And uh, actually my colleague, uh, this is Pak Mulya di Tanjung, is very uh, expert in this determin uh, determination of the structure because we ha they have, uh, he has a lot of experience in determining the structure of this uh, preliminated compound. So uh, based on that, uh, on his experience, usually we try to uh, make a grouping of this, uh, like the grouping of the signal or the, yeah, signal of this uh, NMR, NMR. So, okay, we will find the main structure first. And then for the like terpenoid or even now we are still, we got, fortunately we got also three terpen, but we haven't working uh, for the determination of the structure because it's too complicated. So we left uh, behind first because uh, this is very confusing for us as, as we only have like three main uh, instrument like NMR uh, and uh, mass spec and uh, UV, ER, IR, spectrophotometer. That's for the main uh, instrument that we have. 
people uh, that we rely on determination of the structure. Uh, this is a very tricky, actually, uh, Dr. Uh, Sajarah Tunur. So we try to uh, grouping one of this uh, signal, and then we try to do uh, to measure. I mean, for the coupling uh, constanta as well as the like uh, APT. We do APT in one, so we know that which one is the uh, methane, methylene, and the correlation on in between of that. So HMBC, HMQC, that's uh, actually the thing that we are working a lot to find out uh, the structure of this uh, compound. And usually it takes a uh, longer time compared to this, uh, the other actually. So to tell you the truth that uh, actually the, our, our most difficulty to uh, determine this uh, irregular chain structure. Okay, thank you. So, like, Alhamdulillah, you've got the structure correct. Yeah. Right. So, Dr. Saja, is, are you uh, okay with that? Do you have any more questions? Yes, yes. Um, that answer my questions. Okay. All it right. Is, uh, uh, the same, the same uh, problem facing over here. Okay, when we have um, uh, compounds that cannot be dissolved easily in organic solvents or oh, animal okay. solvents. Uh -huh. So we, we sort of um, uh, don't know how, how, how to, how to, um, what to, to, to come up with the, 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 not the, the, in the, the, as well? Yes. It's not dissolved it in is the MSO as well? Yes, yes. And then uh, since the, the compounds are obtained um, in a very minute uh, amount, minor, so, yes. yeah, so we are stuck over there. So that, that's the, the big challenge, actually. Yes, actually. That's uh, even, we, yeah, we have a similar experience. Actually, now we have also several uh, new compounds, but the amount is very only about three milligrams, so we can't do anything with three milligrams of the uh, compound. So we just do the uh, NMR, but uh, sometimes, yeah, it's not so good. Uh, the spectra is not so good if only uh, that uh, tiny amount of the compound. Yes, not enough sample. Not enough sample, yes, that's right. Yes. This, we have the same problem actually, Dr. Uh, Sajaran Tunur. Yes. So uh, Dr. Azza and Dr. Sajar is uh, our natural product group actually. So, ah, they, okay. yeah, so yeah, we can yeah. discuss together if you have like uh, difficulty in there or we have uh, difficulty so we can uh, actually have uh, communicate this one so probably we can solve the problem by uh, together. Mm -hmm. Yes, that would be great. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. that, that would be uh, great to have a further discussion with, with yes. Prof. And yeah. also uh, Prof Nani is, I, uh, is also present I saw Prof. Yeah. Nani. Okay. Okay. Inshallah, Prof. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We we actually uh, Bunani or uh, is uh, working with the natural product, and she is an expert as well. So we can uh, discuss together mm -hmm. to solve all of our problem. Probably, if not only your problem, probably we have our own problem as well. So we can uh, share our problem with you. <laughs> yes, that is true. Okay. So any other questions from the floor? We have a few organic chemists here. Mm -hmm. Our group uh, in UTM, uh, uh, basically we are doing some uh, organic chemistry and there are some natural products. So mm -hmm. we have a balance there. So they, yeah. uh, the, uh, the classes also are related to your uh, uh, what's it, uh, major. So mm -hmm. we have a few students also here. If any students want to ask any question, you may. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you can ask the question. Or probably if some of the students interested to work with uh, several uh, plans that we have in our uh, group, it's, it will be a uh, Glad to have you uh, working with us. Yes. So, uh, Prof, uh, how how many students do you have right now? Active students. For who are working in our group? Yes. Yeah. 
we have 13 uh, oh yeah about 13 students yes oh okay so usually for year we have about 13 to 15 students for working in our group okay so a variety from phd undergrads masters yeah. yes mm, master, okay. master uh, and then uh, for the phd uh, student and the, but uh, mostly are uh, for the undergraduate students. Oh, undergraduate. Yes. I see. Yeah. Uh, did you make them to go to the forest and get the sample themselves? Uh, no. No. <laughs> it, it's very costly. If I, I take them to the Kalimantan. <laughs> how, how far is it from uh, Ilanga? Uh, actually, uh, from the we have, yeah, we yeah. have like one, one and a half flight to Surabaya to Palangkaraya and then from Palangkaraya to the Palangkaraya. Muara Tewe, it takes uh, seven or eight hours by uh, car. By car. Oh, okay. yeah, by car. To the forest. Yes, uh, to the oh, not the to the forest, to the small city in the middle of oh. central of Kalimantan. I see. So from the yeah, from Palangkaraya, it's still uh, we have to take uh, seven to eight hours by car. Mm, okay. Wow, that's an effort to make all the things work. Yeah. <laughs> so it's about, uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, anybody else, Dr. Bakri, anything to ask? Welcome, Prof. I'm Bakri from UTM, chemistry department as well. So, but then I did most of the work in terms of the synthesis. Uh, not really natural product chemist, but then uh, we have Dr. Shaja, Dr. Azza. Just now is our experts. So just my question, my quick question would be, uh, is that a prof try to synthesize or derivatize some of the compounds? And actually, which one actually prof target? Is that chalcone uh, or is that uh, any other type of compound that have been synthesized or derivatized based on the isolated compounds? Uh, yeah, actually we have a group of the uh, synthesis uh, as well in uh, in our department, which is, uh, this is Pak Harry Swito, I don't know whether he is here or not. He, uh, he tried to synthesize uh, actually one of these uh, chalcon, actually not really the whole uh, structure of the nature uh, of the compound that we obtained from the uh, plant, but he tried to modify the side chains uh, of the compound based on the like the chalcon. Yeah, he is working with the uh, skeleton of chalcon, and then he modified uh, the uh, side chains using this different or several uh, uh, functional group, and I think it's working. Uh, I, I have not, but I think it's working just a few months ago. We just uh, discussed about that and it's, uh, it's working quite good. But we haven't known whether it's uh, for the bioactivity because it's still on the process of the synthesis. Yeah, Chalcon. He works with Chalcon as well. Yeah. But if uh, Dr. Bakri interested to synthesize one of or one or several compound of uh, the, the one that we got from the natural product. It's very good and very interesting. Is it possible to synthesize uh, that one? Especially <laughs> uh, the one that has you know, the, uh, <laughs> very active activity in cancer, I think, mm. or active, uh, uh, very active in anti-malaria. If you can do that, it's very interesting. We can working together. Sure, sure, Prof. Thanks. Okay, that would be great. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Anything? Anybody else? I have, uh, Prof. Yes. I have one more question. Yes. Uh, regarding the biological activity. So uh, nowadays, people are doing molecular docking to predict yeah. the biological activity of compounds rather than. Yeah tested the very precious compound in the lab mm -hmm. and yet we didn't get anything positive. So um, do you do that in your lab? 
Uh, yeah, we uh, actually Bunani now is working on. Uh, I know several of uh, her publication is working using the docking from the uh, compound that she uh, caught, and uh, we used to do that like once on 2013 when we are using that one. But now we are uh, we haven't working with uh, that one yet. I think uh, this is uh, the opportunity for us as well to. Uh, to this, uh, talking to predict the bioactivity or uh, yeah, bioactivity for the compound. We have uh, an expert for that, Pak Imam Siswanto, ya, Bu Nani, ya? Yes, Bu yeah. Tiki, Pak Imam Siswanto yeah. help us to make it. Yeah, because uh, we have like one uh, colleague with uh, specialist in this uh, talking or as well as bioinformatic, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, 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 we try to do uh, after this. So just one step by step because we are actually uh, ex very exhausted to do all of this thing first. Yeah. Yes, true. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because, because the collection of your compounds is amazing, you know, when you look at the structure. Yeah. We are natural product chemists, we are organic synthetic chemists. Yes. So when looking at the structure and the structure is something very complex, yes. the more complex the structure, uh, the more interesting the compound. Yes, that's <laughs> right, <laughs> Dr. Naraza. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's why I, I love to share this uh, to all of you because so we can probably in some other time they can collaborate together and working together with uh, to solve all of this structure of this uh, natural product or this new compound from the plant from Kalimantan. Yes, yes, true. Okay, but Bakwi, you have a question? Uh, Prof, my next question will be on the commercialization aspects. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. in, in, in UTM, uh, mm -hmm. If uh, we do have so many of our seniors in lecturer, Professor Hasna, uh, Dr. Faridia Ibunani might know them better. But then as a chemist, we usually rarely go for commercialized. Yes. Like for example, Prof have so many interesting compounds which perhaps can have certain formulation mm -hmm. to produce uh, any products. But usually uh, it's rarely to see, very rare to see a chemist or scientists uh, going for uh, for that area as compared to our staff or our lecturer from the chemical engineering. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they do just yeah. the formulation and produce the yeah. product for beauty and so on, right? So in yeah. that aspect, what will be a uh, prof opinion? Yeah, I think uh, the prospect is quite good, uh, Dr. Bakri. Because, but we can't do our own because we are chemists, is it? So we have to collaborate with the colleague from the pharmacy. That's why that I told you pre uh, before that uh, our goal is uh, not uh, the product is like uh, standard herbal medicine instead of the probably a uh, drug uh, or synthesis drug or uh, whatever. But uh, actually in the future we are thinking of uh, follow up this uh, very interesting uh, compound which has very uh, active in uh, certain uh, like bioactivity and we will collaborate with the uh, colleague from the pharmacy to formulate probably not uh, really uh, doing so we like we have uh, our uh, own uh, role. So for chemistry, we just searching for this new compound and then try to identify uh, the bioactivity. And then for the phytopharmaca, we, we have to work with the, our colleague in uh, pharmacy. So actually some of the uh, product in uh, herbal medicine has been uh, established in Universitas Erlanga. Uh, this is uh, the collaboration between the pharmacists and then uh, the staff from the faculty of medicine 
as well as uh, some of the uh, uh, staff from this uh, chemi uh, chemistry department. And uh, this is actually the, uh, the goal as well for the uh, university, for the rector to uh, encourage all of the uh, researchers in uh, Universitas Erlangga to be uh, not uh, stay in the basic research or fundamental research, but uh, you have to go through for the uh, product or commercialization of your product. Yeah, yes, I think yes, we should do because we can't working alone. <laughs> yes, yes, true. All right. Okay, any other questions? Anything related or non related to Bujichi? So, um, let's say, uh, just to flashback, what do you do for your PhD topic, book, Prof? Oh, actually, my PhD topic is uh, for yeah. My uh, I'm working with uh, synthesis organic when I was in uh, University of Western Australia. That's in 1993. Yes, 1993. But at that time, when I uh, I'm back come back to uh, from Australia. Yes. In our department, it's still very difficult to work with uh, synthesis, yes, uh, organic synthesis, because with uh, limited uh, equipment, limited apparatus, and then uh, actually it's very difficult to get uh, the chemicals, certain chemicals. That's why. So I like turn out from the organic chemistry to uh, work with. Uh, natural product chemistry because mm -hmm. my uh, undergraduate uh, thesis mm -hmm. is on actually on uh, natural product chemistry i see oh, okay all right so that was the the the, the moment of changing is it yes. oh, that but you still do some organic chemistry uh, chemistry also right oh yeah 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 i'm a uh, lecture in organic chemistry yes so especially for like a uh, stereochemistry as mm -hmm. uh, sort of that so this is the okay. organic chemistry, but uh, my research is uh, focusing on the uh, natural product chemistry. Okay. So there, there are no subject on natural product for the masters or final year students. Yes, the there are. There are. Mm, okay. Yeah. And right. we have to go, uh, and and we also have several courses in uh, natural product chemistry, both in uh, undergraduate as mm. well as in master uh, program. Mm, okay. Right, but Bu Nani is it yang yang mengajarnya? Ya, yeah. Bu Nani, uh, Pak Mulya di Tanjung, uh -huh. uh, saya, ya. Yeah. Okay, there's a few. Yeah, alright. Uh, Bu Alvi, eh, Bu Alvi, dah. Itu kami dah. Bu Nani, itu. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bu Alvi dah. Itu kami sering. Ah, I see. Pelbagai ya. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, last question. If you have any question, I open to the floor. Anybody? Anybody want to come on, Bu Nani? Yes, uh, so, uh, sorry, sorry, Silakan. Who is this? Yes, thank you very much. Um, my okay. name is Ms. Baba Adam Ahmad. I'm an MST oh. student from Universitas Erlanga. Okay. So uh, I want to ask, based on mom, uh, I've realized sometimes uh, you can test the activity of some compounds in vitro and they will show hypertensive against cancer. Well, if you test them in vivo, they will show an extremely reduced activity. I don't know if Professor Mom uh, faced similar compounds. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, how are you, Musbahu? <laughs> what time is in Nigeria now? <laughs> well, it, is, it is 5 a.m. <laughs> oh, it's 5 a.m. in Nigeria. Is it your studio uh, city? Yeah, Musbah uh, is a master uh, student uh, from uh, Nigeria, but he's still in Nigeria because he can't go uh, flew to Surabaya yet. Okay. So for next year. I see. But we have uh, like uh, online courses with him mm. and uh, the other uh, Abdullah, is it? Musa, is it? Yeah. Mm. Musa yeah, is yes, here? Ma. Is Musa here? No, he's not, no, he's not here, ma'am. Oh, okay. Yeah. Musbau, unfortunately, we know that uh, one uh, of the 
compound which is have a very uh, active in such a, a anti a cancer cell it's ob obviously prob uh, it can be reduced the activity once we test it in uh, in vivo uh, that's because of uh, i think uh, we have to go through the uh, kinetic uh, reaction or uh, what we call it yeah kinetica uh, what do you call it? study yeah for the kinetic step whether uh, in which step this uh, compound uh, active for through the step of the uh, what do you call in tahapan untuk cancer what like the premier uh, for the first uh, step for uh, developing the uh, like for the apa ya gunani kalau kita ini tahap yang untuk um play pre uh, pre uh, pre Very study <laughs> yeah not uh, polyferase oh yeah we no polyferase step or uh, in it depends on this uh, step that's why i try to uh, since last year musbau i try to test uh, all of the my compound with several uh, type of cell like uh, even even though this is like for this uh, mommy cell but we have several uh, several kind of cell like t47g cell and then uh, mcf cell because this is uh, the cell is uh, definitely uh, a specific uh, reaction uh, through the compound that's why uh, we can't do like the only one okay this is active for the t47g cell so it will be active in in vivo with uh, all of the uh, cancer cells. Uh, so we have to divide all of uh, all of the activity to to not to divide. We have to measure to identify in which step is the compound active for uh, to the uh, process of the development of cancer cell because we know that uh, like if we have like uh, cancer we have like stadium 3a 3b 4a 4b etc so this cell is working on the specific stadium of cancer cell that's why we have to try with uh, several uh, type of cell for on, even for only one uh, kind of cancer such as the mommy cancer or kan kanker payudara we have T forty seven G cell, we have MCF cell, and we have also forty uh, L cell. So there are three type of cell of the uh, mommy cancer. Mommy cancer. That's why we know we have to uh, inter identify in which step is the compound active. We can't like generate all of the uh, uh, compound for the. Uh, anti-cancer uh, process okay well, thank you very much ma'am okay thank you so um prof uh, ada apa apa mau cakap do you want to say anything to the audience before we close uh, yeah, i think the last uh what see thank you for your attention or and then for your attendance for this uh, session or for this talk actually i would like uh, i'm really happy to have you all to discuss uh, about the natural product and then uh, i love to share my uh, research uh, to all of you so in the end if uh, we have uh, something uh, for the uh, collaboration or for the collaboration or for the discussion i would I would be glad. Uh, I would be glad to have you all to come to my uh, yeah. group or to my department, or we can uh, like discuss uh, as well for the uh, further research or next research. And who wants to? Uh, who ev everyone who interested in my uh, our group research? So please uh, join with us and. Have uh, we can uh, like uh, 
join collaboration uh, together. Thank you for Dr. Juani for assisting me for the last uh, few weeks, two weeks, I think, or 10 days. Yeah. Thank you for two weeks already. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm Thank sorry you. if uh, really difficult to catch me <laughs> because yeah, I have I to run, yes. uh, from one area to other area and then yes. from one program to another program. Yes. And give my regard to the Dean of the Faculty of Science, uh, UTM. Okay. And then uh, stay healthy, all of you, in this situation. So hopefully we all uh, uh, stay in healthy in uh, in the next uh, time. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Prof. Chichi, for the wonderful talk. Uh, I, on behalf of the OGC group, also uh, thank uh, Prof. Chichi for um, for the her time, your time, to spend for two hours, almost two hours, to give a very wonderful talk and discuss all the things that common. Uh, problems and hiccups of this natural product uh, research. So I would like to um, uh, please open, um, invite everybody to open the camera if uh, possible to take a photo. Okay, I will take a photo. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's online here, virtually everybody's here. We would love to see all the faces. Okay, I will print screen what's the students, uh, the are three pages, is it? Okay, I will print, uh, okay, everybody is okay? Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> who else is around? Guardati. Guardati. Turn on your camera. Tidak bisa dibuka. Tidak bisa. Tolong dibuka. Tolong dibuka. Di, dari host. Kau, kau, itu top ini ya, saya. Ya. Yeah. Nadia ketemu dengan uh, Dr. Juhani. Di gambar stop video, gambar stop videonya itu di ada tulisan di bawah yang stop video tanda diklik juga di. Yang mana itu? Di bawah, di bawah. Kamera saya ada masalah. Di bagian bawah akan ada gambar kamera. Itu pasti oh. kameranya dicoret punyanya Bu Tati. Uh, tapi tidak bisa. Di sini tulisannya you can start your video because the host has stopped. Oh, oh the host should be. Ah, Dr. Juhani, help. Yes, so uh, ada, ada. Bu Tati. Kanomanya mana? Uh, Kanoma. Kanoma, help me. <laughs> Pak Bakri. Oh, ya, Indonesia ya. Pak Bakri. Dinyalakan kameranya. Ayo, Bu Arsasi, Bu Mira. I can start my video. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Okay, then. You can turn on the video. Okay, I will print screen here. Just small. One, two, three. Okay, next page, kan? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, lagi lama yang tidak on. Tidak apa-apa, ya? Ya, karena okay. di, di uh, ininya di rumah ada untuk sini. Oke, oke. Alright, oke. Okay. All done. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Okay. Alright, so um, last cartoon ada nak cakap apa-apa kan? Uh, tak apa. Uh, thank you very much, yeah. Prof, you for your talk. A very interesting yeah. talk. I, I came in a bit late because I have another meeting, yeah? Oh, yes. Uh, InsyaAllah, yes. we can have future collaborations here. Yeah. Yes. It was a good discussion between Dr. Nur Azza, Dr. Sajar, Dr. Bakri, Dr. Yeah. Dr. Hani. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank, okay. you. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, nanti nantikan lagi uh, OGC uh, lectures kami ada uh, invitation ataupun uh, apa-apalah kalau ada uh, aktiviti di sana uh, maklumkan yeah. aja. Mm. Yeah, okay. we'll invite you. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so thank you very much. Uh, I would like you to I remind you to send um to fill in the attendance. You will get okay, a, a yeah. certificate. Prof oh, nanti uh, certificate-nya special. Uh, sebentar ya, saya tunjukkan aja share sini. Certificate-nya nanti saya akan um, email lah. Yes, yeah. uh, mana Prof punya certificate. Okay, so nanti uh, terima kasih buat uh, Prof Cici. This yeah. is the certificate. Alright, nanti saya emailkan yeah. uh, kepada yeah. Terima kasih. Okay, terima kasih. Selagi, selagi, lagi sekali nanti kita jumpa lagi online. Yes. Alright. Okay, alright. Everybody, thank you very much for coming. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Yes. Terima kasih. See you around and be safe. Terima kasih. Okay. Assalamualaikum. 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 Yes. Be safe everyone. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Apa ya? Yo bu. Okay ya, saya off sini. Okay. Okay, terima kasih semua. Thank you everyone. Okay, be in touch, keep in touch everyone. Kalau ada apa-apa, email ke, telefon ke ya. Okay. Bunda ni, bye bye.